What's up, DJs? All right, so we got some answers from Hara. Uh, I told you guys last night that Hara was doing, he recorded a three-part video answering uh, the community's most commonly asked questions to him and the team. So we're going to go through that. Um, but first, we're going to have a quick look over at the Jasmine chart as well and see what's going on with the price action. So Jasmine this morning up 8.6%, two spots in rank to the upside. $1.23 billion market cap, volume at $182.99 million. Two cents, five, four right now, guys. Looking pretty good. Up 25.5% on the week, 40.8% on the month. Very, very nice. Uh, and of, uh, Okay, so let's go over to the chart. So, nice little recovery last night, guys. Nice, nice recovery. Got caught on the 200-day SMA as support. Uh, Golden Cross still in effect. Breaking to the upside here. Made it all the way up to about $0.02.59. Uh, I'd like to see us again later today get through this resistance level. Close above here. Let's get a close above here. Retest it as support and then make our way up to that $0.03 cent level. That's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, in my opinion, guys, we'll see what happens. Uh, but again, it always does depend on what Bitcoin's going to do. And if we go over to the Bitcoin chart right now, Bitcoin has caught support here at 91,000. It's worked its way back up through this resistance zone here. So I'll be watching for a daily close above this purple box. Above there would be uh, a nice daily close. Let's uh, let's get the close and then maybe uh, we can test the... Uh, you know, test the uh, giant sell wall here at about $99,000 again and continue to chip away at it, guys. The bulls are, it's going to take some time for the bulls to chip away at that sell wall. But once they get it done, guys, boom, we'll get through there. So for now, we've got to keep trying, keep trying. This is very healthy, though, guys, that what we did here, you see, we put a higher low in, right, which is uh, bullish for the trajectory of uh, Bitcoin to the upside. So very, very bullish there. All right, so let's get into it here. I didn't want to take too long on the charts because this is, you know, substantial amount of time here. Well, it's, it's about 15 minutes, but uh, so uh, Jankshin tweets out, Jasmine CFO, Jankshin CEO, Hara did a Q&A to answer uh, with, uh, with a video. Uh, the first installation, there's, so there's three, three videos answering the community's questions. This is the first one. Um, says, we have picked up and answered some of the most commonly asked questions we receive from everyone. Please look. Okay, so now, guys, this is in Japanese, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to read it because it's got captioning down here. So I'll kind of pause, read, pause, read as fast as I can. Uh, but this is all, this is all what I'm about to say moving forward. This is all in the words of Hara himself, not mine. Okay, so let's go. It says today we got a lot of questions from everyone. So I'd like to answer them by diving in, uh, diving into, diving them into seven sections, dividing them into seven sections. Uh, let me explain the progress of the roadmap uh, as everyone has asked. Just going to mute it. Uh, so I'd like to talk about that. Uh, the first thing we announced was our partnership with Panasonic. Now we didn't specific. Now we didn't specifically say Panasonic, uh, but the idea is to take information from IoT devices and integrate it into the personal data locker. Individuals can then authenticate their devices and mess uh, and manage that information as their own data. This is something that wasn't possible before. For example, where does your computer information go? It stays within your computer. Uh, it's impossible to utilize it effectively in that state. So we're looking to expand this to sensor uh, this to sensors and manage that information as their own data. Industrial machines, robot vacuums, and all sorts of things. 
the idea is to link these devices to your my number card and record the data properly in your database. We've already completed experiments on this. <clears throat> uh, it was finished in the second quarter by the end of September as part of our joint development with Panasonic. Okay, so they've, they have finished their testing of this in the second quarter of this year. By the end of uh, by the end of September, or well, by the end of September, as part of their development with Panasonic. Okay, so there's an update right there. Everyone's been wondering what's the update on the platform you're building with Panasonic. Apparently, it was finished at the end of September as part of their joint development with Panasonic. Now, what we're trying to do by December is uh, integration with blockchains, specifically open source blockchains. For example, we plan to link up with Ethereum, Solana, and so on. Ooh, very interesting. Very interesting. They're linking up with Ethereum and Solana and many more. For example, devices produced by international IoT device manufacturers. <clears throat> We want to create a system where that the where that device can be authenticated by user using a wallet or uh, enable peer to peer payments, for instance. Jasmine chain is a consortium type blockchain. <laughs> However, to achieve this functionality, it is necessary to connect the wallet within the open source blockchain. For example, using MetaMask, you can link it to Jasmine's personal data locker. Ah, and it's not just MetaMask, then he would be talking about your Coinbase wallet, uh, your Trust wallet, right? Your, your, your DeFi wallets kind of thing. Uh, now, another thing is the carbon credit exchange. This is something we said we wanted to focus on this year. Uh, I think the market for this is starting to heat up a bit. Recently, another company decided to enter the market. Uh, and program a stablecoin platform also announced their support. I wonder if he's talking about Ripple. Also, uh, Mizuro Bank, a major bank, is moving forward with a proof of concept for this. So there's a lot of buzz around this. As for the exchange itself, it's not just about the exchange operations. We really want to build the underlying blockchain infrastructure. And there will, uh, sorry, and there we'll be using our token combined with stable coins. Our token is the JASB token. However, we want to avoid a user interface where people have to buy stable coins first. So we're currently using NFTs to address that. Technically, our token is implemented using NFTs. Well, while it's an NFT, we're using the ERC-1155 standard, which allows us to send any number of tokens at once, 1,000, 10,000, you name it.
we're already conducting these pilot pilot tests. The launch is a little behind our initial announcement, but basically we're focusing on building up our organizational structure right now. There are globally st uh, standardized certification bodies and we're bringing one of them to Japan. We're currently working with Jasmine to establish a Japanese branch of this body. Nice. We're also preparing for partnerships with companies that can work with us on this. More partnership announcements coming. Nice. So we're laying the groundwork. <clears throat> Companies that would buy as consumers and organizations that would support them, uh, academia, government, government agencies, are all on board. Wow. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes than we know, guys. That's amazing. Uh, but but we're now forming partnerships that are essential for uh, actually conducting business, and those are progressing smoothly as well. We are on track. Nice. This is bullish, guys. This is bullish. Things are wheels are in motion behind the scenes. So another topic to discuss is the wallet and the data exchange. So the PDL and the super wallet. Regarding this, the progress on the open source layer two blockchain being developed by Jankshin is slightly delayed. I told you guys, things don't just happen, you know, sometimes when you lay out a timeline to get something done, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than you thought it was going to. If you've ever done any kind of home renovations before, you know this, you walk in a room, you say, it's gonna take me uh, two hours to paint this room. Three days later, the room's not done, right? He says, without this chain developing, a wallet is meaningless. So the wallet coming out is meaningless unless Jankshin's layer two is completed and launched, is what he's saying, okay? So Jankshin needs to be launched for the super wallet to be worth anything, right? He says, so we're currently rushing to develop our own chain and prepare for both the test net and the main net. Uh, we aim to make an announcement of some kind within the year. Now, I don't know what he means by that, within the year. Does that mean like within the rest of this year, 2024, or within the next 12 months? I'm not sure what he means by that. Alliance with Panasonic and specific results. Panasonic initially came to us with the concept like autonomous driving and automatic control, uh, tying software functions inside robotics, moving automatically to a database. So Panasonic actually is the company that approached them. They didn't approach Panasonic. And uh, I would just like to add into that, guys, to the guy in the comment section of one of my videos about two weeks ago that said, there is no partnership between Panasonic and, and Jasmine. Suck it. Autonomous driving uh, is technically very challenging, but because the departments within the company are divided, we haven't been able to start working on it. 
So Jasmine's technology, they, they are actually going to be working on uh, auto, automatic driving vehicles. Their technology is going to be implemented implemented into this. He just said so. Uh, however, we are working on IoT devices that link individual and data, de uh, sorry, device data, or authenticate it using my number authentic uh, my number card authentication. By doing so, personal devices and databases are linked. When logging out, the data linkage concludes. This initiative is already in the proof of concept stage with test software in, uh, in test robots, ensures the data operates correctly within the device. For example, a robot navigating an office space records data into Jasmine's database and during authenticated sessions, activity history from the device is visible only to the individual or operating company. What we plan to do going forward is to continue integrating these open environments and help them sell the product externally as slur slur. Developers can create products for Jasmine, customizing these products for their own clients as applications or as part of the consortium members. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I'm going to do this in two parts because we're already at almost 20 minutes in this video. And I know you guys don't like to, you know, have those like super, super long videos. So uh, part two will be coming out this afternoon. We'll do the other half of this, guys. So as always, Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. If you appreciate the uh, the work that I put in uh, to bring you guys this information, it would be absolutely amazing. Uh, also, guys, do not try to navigate this altcoin season, this parabolic bull run on your own. If you do not have an exit strategy, you will have a hard time making sure you get your profits out of this market and getting paid. It is not as easy as just clicking sell and walking away with life-changing wealth. You have to make sure there are certain factors at play here. Is there liquidity at the sell points you're trying to take your profits at? Because if there's not, that price is going to go right through your sell price and right through it again and not going to fill. And then you're going to be standing there going, what the heck? I put my sell order in. Why don't I have any money? You have to be able to uh, navigate this market. If you do not have experience, I promise you, you are going to find a way to get screwed over. So, Join our community, guys, over on the Patreon. We have everyone from seasoned veterans to beginners. What we do there is we create exit strategies, profit-taking tools. Um, we help you uh, create that. Pick your exit price points. You can schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. You can also join our group Zoom calls that we do every single day, and we discuss all of that kind of stuff. Plus, we discuss taxes and tax implications, how to be proactive with your bank so that they don't red flag your money when you transfer six figures from a crypto exchange to your account it can run into a lot of problems guys okay so we help you with that um we talk about uh, compounding gains DeFi staking passive income operating nodes and everything else guys so if you need your hand held through this altcoin season join our community we are there to help you to support you um and schedule your one-on-ones with me so again click like if you like this video click subscribe if you really liked it and i will see you guys in the next one.